being a bachelor is better than being tied down in a relationship. Being a bachelor means you can date whoever you want to date. It means you can have four or five women if you want to. It means that you're not locked down into some overly emotional situation and relationship that's draining your energy. Because fellas, these women, if you let them, they will drain every ounce of energy that you have from your entire soul. I've been driving this train years in this lane this Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode Today I'm going to talk to you all about why it's better to be a bachelor Fellas And I know what you're thinking Some of you all are thinking No, Sean, it's better to be in a relationship, Sean Well, I can tell you right now from personal experience that Being a bachelor is one of the best, most positive, most productive places that you can be at in your life. Especially if you're someone who has spent the majority of your life being in relationships, you spent the majority of your time laid up with a woman. You haven't really had the opportunity to go after the things that you really want. You've been more focused on making another person happy. And so you're sitting there, your girl just left you and you spent the last seven, eight years with her and now your ass is crushed. You're crushed because this woman was your whole world. And fellas, I've said many times, I am not anti-relationship. I think if you have a relationship, no matter what kind of relationship it is, it is wonderful as long as it's on your terms and you are happy and that woman is doing what she has to do and she's doing right by you. But if your life is filled with stress and anxiety and panic and worry, that's not the type of relationship you want to be involved in. A lot of times you have to go through that heartbreak in order to fully appreciate a great woman when she does come into your life. Too many of you guys, you're getting caught up with these wild, beastly, angry, masculine ass women who are trying to control you and are trying to control everything that you say, trying to control the things that you do, getting upset with you because you're just being yourself. If you have a woman who is getting upset with you because you are being yourself, meaning you're just saying the things that you want to say, you're socializing with, with, with people how you normally would, whether or not she's there. Fellas, if you have to change who you are, if you have to change your personality to placate to a woman and how she wants you to think, feel, and act, that's that bullshit. And that's a woman you shouldn't be with. That's a woman you shouldn't be with. She's friends with benefits only. She's come by after 10 p.m. only. And you got to stop giving her so much so much leeway to make all these nitpicks and adjustments into your life. Fellas, what do you want? What do you want? Whatever you want is what you should be doing. No woman, no friend, no colleague, no boss, nobody should be telling you how to think, how to move, how to live. You are your own man. Now you can take bits and pieces. You can you know, listen to your girl's concerns for sure. If she's coming at you in a, in, in a mature way and you can look at yourself and say, you know what, maybe I can do X, Y, or Z better. That's fine because we're all human, right? We all have things we need to improve on. But fellas, no woman should be uh, dictating how you behave, period. You move how the fuck you want to move. Being a bachelor is better than being tied down in a relationship. Being a bachelor means you can date whoever you want to date. It means you can have four or five women if you want to. It means that you're not locked down into some overly emotional situation and relationship that's draining your energy. Because fellas, these women, if you let them, they will drain every ounce of energy 
that you have from your entire soul. Even if everything is going wonderful, fellas, women, when it comes to relationships and dating, even if everything is going perfect, they will find a way to create drama. They will find a fucking way. And this is because they cannot live without some, some type of issue going on. They need to create and, and mix something up and stir something up. So you need to be the one to create that drama. And you know how you do that? You do that by being you and doing whatever the fuck you want. That's how you create that, that turmoil in her life. Because if not, fellas, what you're gonna what you're gonna do is you're gonna allow her to be the one to create that turmoil. And that is what you don't want. Because then you're chasing after the cat. And you don't want to be in that position where you're overly emotional and you're like, oh my God, bro, what is she doing? Who is she with? Oh my God, is she with that guy again? Is she texting those other guys? Is she texting them? Man, listen, I don't have time to worry about who she's texting. You want to know why? Because I honestly, I truly don't care. I don't care. And y'all care too much. But the beautiful thing about being a bachelor, if that woman doesn't want to behave, if she wants to cause stress and turmoil in your life, you can just walk away or not speak to her. Bye. I'm not going to deal with that. I don't owe you anything. You don't owe them anything, fellas. When, when, when you're non-committal, she has to earn your commitment. So some of you guys who are so stuck on this, oh, I need a relationship, bro, I need a relationship. I, I, I need a relationship. Those of you guys who, who have that type of mentality, that's fine if that's what you want to do. But I'm telling you right now, that mentality is going to put you behind the eight ball. It's going to put you behind. And that's not a place you want to be. You need to enjoy these moments in your life where you are a bachelor and you have the true freedom to come and go as you please, to attack your purpose and your mission and your goals, to be able to just get up and go on vacation and go meet some, some women from another state and go practice your, to your social skills. Some of you guys have no social skills. That's why you're so scared now to lose that little relationship that you have. Shit is crazy. But a lot of times it takes going through that heartbreak, that difficult situation with a toxic woman. It takes those things in order for you to learn how to identify the red flags. So you had to go through that. You had to go through those crazy experiences with these, with these women. And you had, to, you had to go through it so that you could really feel deep on the inside what it feels like to be emotionally controlled and manipulated by a woman. Because fellas, this is how they control you. They control you by manipulating your mind, by manipulating your emotions, by causing drama. You see, they can't overpower you physically, right? We have the physical gifts over women, but they have the emotional and mental gifts over us. They have the they have the ability to control and manipulate. And most men fall right into this. A woman could treat you like absolute shit. She could start drama while you're out in public. She could be the the worst, meanest, angriest woman on planet Earth. But as soon as that one little tear starts to come down, your ass is completely completely over it your ass is completely fooled and you give in to all her demands and requests because she shed a couple of tears and that's what we have to get better at fellas do not be controlled or manipulated by a woman's tears and her crying because this is what they do this is what they do you need to be the one to create the turmoil by not giving in to what she wants you to do. That's how you create it. You stand firm. You hold frame. You be who you are. Yeah, she's gonna get mad. She's gonna find ways to be all in her feelings about one thing or another. If it ain't this, it's that. But who cares? Do you. 
And this is why I say it is better to be a bachelor because you have the ability to go anywhere on planet earth right now and no one is holding you back. And I know a lot of you guys who have been single for maybe a year, a couple years, and you're itching to be in a relationship and you don't really have much social skills. So you're just sitting at the house, swipe, 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 swipe on all these goddamn dating apps. You don't want to get your ass out of the house and speak to anyone. So if that's what you're doing, of course you feel lonely. You feel lonely because you don't love yourself. And this period of being a bachelor is exactly what your ass needs in order to get back in tune with who you truly are. Because fellas, most of y'all don't even know who you are, yet you expect a woman to be down for you and be loyal to you. You don't know who you are. So how the fuck is she gonna know who you are? You need to be so firm in who you are as a fucking man that when she comes into your life, no matter how hard, no matter how masculine she is, she knows that you're a fucking real one and you're not bowing down and you're not changing for anything. And if she doesn't want to play her role on this team, her ass can, you know what she can do, right, fellas? You know what she can do. She can kick them rocks with both feet at the same time. She can kick them and fall flat on her ass because she she messed it up with a real one. And if you know like I know, it's not too many real ones out there. It's not too many real guys. That's strong. That's masculine. That's loyal. That stand on their fucking square. No matter what's going on around them that live their life with a stoic philosophy, that don't get overly emotional, that aren't swayed by anyone else's thoughts or opinions about them, who keep things 10 toes down. It's not too many real ones out there like that. I only know a few of them. I only know a few, uh, I only know a few real ones. So I know these women are having an awfully hard time meeting a real one. This is why they test so much. They're testing to see what kind of guy you are. But if they continue to try to test a real one, they're going to test their ass right out the front door. Because a real one is only going to put up with the bullshit for so long. For, for so long before another woman comes along and treats him the way he wants to be treated. Fellas, it is better to be a bachelor. It's better to be a bachelor. It's more fun. It's less stress. You date who you want. You go where you want. You save more money. You could take yourself on trips. You don't have to worry about taking some ungrateful woman out and then she's just sitting there and fucking complaining all night. She's mad at everything. You took her out, peep this, you took her out and spent your hard earned money and your time and energy and resources on her, yet she has the nerve to sit there and fucking complain about anything, about anything going on in that evening spoiled spoiled rotten but this is the day we live in and this is why you guys need to stop being so afraid and just so scared of being on your own fellas this is the time that many guys are craving. Do you know how many married, unhappily married guys that are out there right now with some woman that they just fucking can't stand? They get off work and they just say, oh, I gotta go home. They do anything they can to try to stay out. Fellas, and I, I know from personal experience because I was the same way. Back when I was in a, a long-term, serious, committed relationship, Man, I used to look for every reason in the book not to come home. I used to be staying out with friends. I'd be sitting in the car by myself, listening to music, listening to talk radio. Man, I'd be doing anything to just have some free time. Like, no, please leave me the fuck alone. But this is what a lot of men are going through out there. They're miserable. But yet on the surface, they're going to try to make everything seem like they're living the dream life. No, they ain't living no fucking dream life. Maybe some are, sure. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is, I'm not saying all. 
Some are, are probably happy and living a great life and that's a beautiful thing and I'm happy for those individuals. But the point of this video, fellas, from my perspective, is I've never been happier than these past seven, eight years that I have been a bachelor. I've gotten more accomplished. I've gotten more done. I've dated more beautiful women. And I've came farther on my purpose than I ever have in my entire life since I've chosen to be a bachelor. And you know what you'll hear? You'll hear some, um, it's always the old ladies always hating. Well, aren't you, aren't you gonna, aren't you worried that you're not gonna be able to find someone? Aren't you worried that you're gonna be alone forever? Uh, no. Oh, no, I'm not. I could literally wife up anyone, anyone that, that, that I'm willing to date. I could wife them up like that. What do you mean? I'm a bachelor by choice. Not a bachelor because, oh, I'm worried. I'm scared. Oh, my God. And it, this is a thing that a lot of women just don't understand. They don't understand that uh, a man and a woman's time, our time frame, is not on the, the same timeline. And I know that's something that they don't want to hear, but it's the reality. It's the truth. I'm a 37-year-old man. A 37-year-old man and a 37-year-old woman are not the same. We are on two separate timelines. They are in scramble mode at that point, trying to find a husband so they can uh, still biologically have kids. Well, guess what? I know it sucks for them, but as a man, we can have kids damn near to the day we die. And that's just the way it goes. So that's not something that, that you have to worry about, fellas. The only thing you worry about is focusing on improving your health, improving your wealth, getting your finances on point, traveling the world, being a being a, um, a, a social guy when you're out so you can work on your social skills. So, so when you see that woman that you do like, you can go step up to her and make a real genuine manly approach like you're supposed to. And don't worry about what these scaredy cats in life are talking about, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to do? Now we ain't worried about that around here, fellas. So if you're a new bachelor and you recently, within the last year or so, broke up with your girl, shit was toxic, shit was chaos, and you're still feeling those emotional chains, let them go. I'm telling you right now, fellas, the sooner you let them go, the sooner you move on, the sooner you look inward, focus on you, the sooner you get in that gym and start throwing them weights around on a consistent fucking basis, the sooner you focus on how you're going to get your money up, the happier you're going to start to be. Never put your happiness into another uh, human being, ever. Happiness comes from within. Happiness is a state of mind. Not a place that you get to and then you're done. It is a state of mind, something that you can control. It is better to be a bachelor, fellas, until proven otherwise. Until a great one comes into your life and learns how to treat you like a fucking king. And until that point, you keep it moving and you date who you want to date. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in, day out. And fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Check out my Patreon for exclusive content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh.